Let us now talk about the subject of atomic weight and atomic charge. This video will deal with atomic weight, the next with atomic charge. To get at the idea of atomic weight, let's review what an atom looks like. Shown here is a circle that represents the nucleus. In this nucleus are three protons represented with the p's and three neutrons represented with the n's. Recall also that the electrons orbit around the nucleus, and I've shown those with three small e's. Now let's assign masses to these. The mass of a proton is assumed to be 1 AMU, atomic mass units. The weight of a neutron is also set at about 1 atomic mass unit. But an electron, we're just going to forget about the weight of that. So what this means is the weight of this particular atom, as shown, would be 6 AMU. We have three protons, each of which weighs 1 AMU, and three neutrons, for a total of 6. One way to represent this is with the letters X, A, and Z where A represents the atomic weight or atomic mass. And that is the number of protons plus number of neutrons. And the atomic number is the number of protons. So for this particular species we have here, because it's three protons, that would be lithium, and it has a total mass of six. So in this case, X would be Li, A would be six, and Z would be three. How does one calculate the number of neutrons? Logically, protons plus neutrons minus the number of protons is going to equal the number of neutrons. Or put a different way, A minus Z is equal to the number of neutrons. So let's just practice with one simple problem. Given that an element has an atomic number of 6 and an atomic mass of 13, how many neutrons does it have? And what is the element? First, let's consider how many neutrons. It's just the atomic weight minus the atomic number, seven. This material has seven neutrons. What is the element? It is the element that is represented by an atomic number of six. And there is only one element on the periodic chart with an atomic number of six, and that is carbon. So this material would be written carbon, and it has a mass. This is actually referred to as carbon-13. And that brings me to the subject of isotopes. There are actually three flavors of carbon. There's carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. These are all carbon, so they have an atomic number of six. By the way, carbon-12 is very abundant in nature. Carbon-13 is only a slight amount, and 14 even less than that. Notice that carbon-12 has six neutrons, and carbon-13 has seven neutrons, and carbon-14 has eight. So what is an isotope? It's the same element but a different atomic weight, or it's the same element with a different number of neutrons. And with that, that's a brief review of atomic weights and mass.